let's talk about height so when we talk about height we need a scale to measure but most importantly we need a smooth surface from where to measure but standing on a stool does not indicate you have a greater height the floor and the sole of your feet are the surface to measure your height this is grace and this is grace follow on together they have measured the earth's gravity field anomalies and the result is earth gravitational model 2008 egm 2020 will be released very shortly joined a smooth but irregular surface to shape results from the uneven distribution of mass within and on the surface of earth the joint is by definition a surface to which the force of gravity is everywhere perpendicular the local vertical of the plumb line is always perpendicular to the joint and the local horizon tangential to it this is a wgs 84 ellipsoidal model this is a smooth regular mathematical surface encompasses the entire earth This ellipsoidal model does not always coincide with the actual topography but this is the best fit mathematical model The joint's deviation from an ellipsoid ranges from plus 85 meter in Iceland to minus 106 meter in southern part of India Joint matches more or less very closely with the mean sea level but you must be knowing that MSL is constantly changing because the sea is in constant motion affected by the tides wind atmospheric pressure local gravitational differences temperature salinity and so forth melting of glaciers and ice caps also contribute to this factor the orbiting satellites provide constant updates of the latest data so what are these heights ellipsoid and ortho this is a topographic surface and this is mean sea level The yellow dotted line is the geoid which matches closely with the mean sea level and the green dotted line is the ellipsoid and you are standing on top of a mountain so the question is what is your height and from where do you actually measure your height so let's zoom in a bit shall we this green arrow represents the ellipsoidal height of you which is above ellipsoid and it can be below ellipsoid also this yellow arrow represents the orthometric height or the height above the local geoid and it also can be taken as a height above mean sea level so what height do the planes follow and which place is below mean sea level or the local geoid if you like to know more about vertical datum for measuring depth watch this video next and if you like this small video please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i'll see you in the next video